Hi, it's Preston. I can't wait to teach you more about the money press. In this video, you're going to dive in and learn how we collect premiums on a weekly basis and also how the money press always has protection. Can't wait for you to dive into this one. If you're taking in six per week and your protection costs you 22, Okay, and in and in in the math, one contract would be two thousand two hundred dollars, and for one contract here, the weekly is six hundred dollars. Well, a lot of people look at this and say, "Well, I got to sell four weeks of these, you know, to make up for this big expense here." Almost everyone that has questions at least in, uh, about the money press will just think they're behind the eight ball until they can collect four weeks of premium. But you have to realize something, that if you collect four weeks of premium, which is what, $2,400, I don't want you to be thinking of it as, well, now I'm even, well, I mean, it's true. I mean, no matter what could happen in the trade, you know, you couldn't lose. You just have to realize something that four weeks of time from now would take us from beginning of July into th the first week of August. The first week of August. We'd have the rest of August. We'd have the rest of September and three weeks into October. So we, we'd have, you know, many, many more weeks to go. But the point is, you can be collecting this premium, and if you wanted to get out of this money press, well, you can sell this back. Now, not for the 22, because four weeks into it, there's going to be some time decay. But you have to realize you can sell this for a quite a bit of value still, because it's going to contain the earnings announcement, uh, the Joker that's in there. So the point is, if you sell this, back to the market for nineteen hundred dollars okay just they sold it back for 19 or 18 or whatever so you're gonna take a three hundred dollar you know you're gonna get three hundred dollars less than what you bought that for but you've collected twenty four hundred dollars this is one contract we're talking about so try like the Dickens please por favor to not think of this as, oh, as soon as I spend that $2,200, well, that's zero. Can't get that back. Yeah, you can. You don't need to get it all back either. That's not the point. The point is, is it's going to have value. Just keep that in your mind. It just, just because you buy it, it doesn't mean it's zeroed out in value. In an overwhelming majority, that I meet and talk to and that we mentor and I meet for coffees and meet at our events, they have this thing where as soon as they buy that protective put, to them it's turned to zero. I, I, don't, I don't get it. That's not how this works. And I think part of this is it's like, it's like riding a bike. It's like, you know, we can study it, the money press method, you know, we can read about it, we can see examples, and it's just like riding that bike where you could read about it, you could hear about it from other people. Other people in the same room could just be going, I am so glad I found this. You have no idea. This has like been the most amazing thing ever, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm hearing amazing things, but they've been doing it. They've been on the bike, and they've had a few of those wobbles get out of the way and all of a sudden they feel their legs kicking in that I mean, do you remember that feeling when you first felt some wind pushing your hair back when you were little and there was no training wheels? And as soon as you just got it going and you got some wobbles out, you, you were doing it. And no one, no book could have given you that experience. I, re I really have, I really think there's a very common 
uh, parallel here. Okay, because if you haven't been doing it, been studying it or whatever, you might just have this thing, 2200 oh, well, I don't make money for four weeks, until four weeks, and then I'm only barely ahead. And then what if this happened? What if that happened? It's just not the freaking case. Okay, I spent way too much time on that. Well, I, and so TTD, would I do start a money press on TTD? Yes. Would I start a money press on ServiceNow? Yes. Would I start a money press on Team, even though we're on the call side because it's a crowbar? I'd probably stick with crowbar and Team. But would I start one on Twilio? Yes. The answer is yes, yes, yes. They all look amazing. The weekly premiums are, are incredible. Mm -hmm.